It's a Halloween celebration tonight, and as you all get ready to go door to door to get the goodies, one thing to keep in mind is safety. Our Nerali Jayswal shares the best ways to ensure your safety tonight. As neighborhoods start filling up with costumes and candy, it's important to get the treat and not the trick. Uh, everyone doesn't have great intentions, and so let's just be safe and look out for the well-being of, of our children. Some Tyler neighborhoods don't have street lights or they're broken, which results in lack of visibility for trick-or-treaters. I would suggest that parents have flashlights as you walk up to residence. I would definitely say maybe wear bright clothing just to show that you are walking on a street and just to keep yourself Keep yourself safe from traffic. Nemanja Filipovic teamed up with his neighbors to add more lighting to help guide the trick-or-treaters. During the night, they're all backlit, and there's little lights that spotlight onto them. I hope that it brings them closer to the house because I have a lot of candy I need to get rid of. <laughs> He's even taken the time to make his own decorations and goodie bags to hand out to the trick-or-treaters. Walk up to the door with your children just to make sure uh, everything is safe. Check the candy, um, make sure that the candy is properly sealed. Constable Ralph Carraway Jr. notes drivers need to be extra careful tonight in populated areas. Tonight I would tell people to not only drive for yourself, but drive for the others that you don't see. In Tyler, I'm Narali Jaiswal with CBS 19.